ஹாய் ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு ஸ்ரீ எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்பட் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் கோயம்புத்தூர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி நியூ ப்ராடக்ட் தட் இஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக் ஸ்கூல் காலேஜ் பெல் டைமர் அட்வான்ஸ் மோடு அட்வான்ஸ் டைமர் ஓகே ப்ரீவியஸ்லி வி ஹவ் ஷோன் த ப்ராடக்ட் வீடியோ ஃபார் பேசிக் மாடல் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அண்ட் அட்வான்ஸ் மாடல் ஓகே தட் வி ஆர் டிசைன் த ஒன்லி த பேசிக் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பேசிக் அண்ட் த அட்வான்ஸ் இஸ் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் செட்டிங்ஸ் so in that basic model we have 25 plus 10 time settings for saturdays so for this advanced model we have 50 plus 25 and 20 50 for slot 1 50 and 25 for saturdays and for 20 for exam time slot extra we have ex- timing slot for exams so totally we have in the advanced model 90 way settings you can make use of in the advanced model so that is why it is named as advanced model so if you apply in this advanced model it will be well and good you can use it for all kinds of purposes in the exam schedule you no need to again set for the exam time once you can fix the time then it will be you can change the slot then it will be automatically uh, works according to the uh, programming so okay so basically this is coming with uh, input uh, 230 volt phase neutral should be inputly you can give so on the output here we are connecting on a lamp load for the output so previously i am telling uh, the load from this device you can connect uh, one uh, bell it uh, it will be an advisable because it has an 5 to 8 amps load load carrying capacity will be 5 to 8 amps so uh, the advisable load should be only 1 12 inch or 9 inch uh, uh, bell uh, you should be connected at the output if you want to connect the more bell you can uh, in betweenly you can place on uh, contactor uh, and you can take the load from the contactor okay so now let's see uh, the uh, in the side we have the fuse uh, if any uh, load carrying or uh, any short circuit this fuse will break uh, then you can replace the fuse if any short circuit occurs so in the front of the panel we have 16 draws to lcd display as two line uh, display it is run by the real time am pm and uh, the day uh, tuesday and the date and it is an auto mode or manual mode we suppose if we want to change it to the manual mode it will be the button will be pressed okay and we have three four into one membrane keypad switch in front of the uh, uh, display okay we have power led manual and the output manual is nothing but if you want to manually turn on the load emergency if you change it to manual mode and you can press the bell ringing if you are continue keep on pressing the bell is ringing or otherwise if you press one time and remove it will be on for one second now you can put in the automatic mode once you put a automatic mode then only the program settings uh, is work accordingly if you put manual and you are setting the program but it will not get to work once you check whether it is in automatic mode okay so don't try with the manual mode and set once the it will be set it will not get a ring in the manual mode okay so keep uh, change to automatic mode okay so this casing uh, this is the working manual we will giving uh, we will give along with this uh, the advanced school bell timer every package we have this uh, manual if you don't uh, receive this manual you can download from our online or we can send it through email or something like that uh, we can uh, make use of the manual as well as this uh, you can make use of this video in this the video also completely demo for all the programming modes how to change and how to uh, program all those things we can explain so in the specification we have input 230 volt and the bell output should be 238 amps and the light indications will be for uh, power led and the green and the uh, manual led for 
on the manual uh, LED is for uh, manual mode on selecting third LED is for uh, output mode okay so now we can change the mode settings programming mode first uh, RTC time set and uh, alarm rings time set day slot 1 50 settings slot 2 25 time settings slot 3 20 time settings and day and slot select ok so RTC time settings if you are pressing uh, you can go to set option and uh, you can select uh, the cursor button month year hour minute second date if you for example i am changing the date if you press increment to 8 and you can decrement now we can set the rtc is getting updated now we can go to second settings this is the alarm ring time settings you can press set this is for, uh, for delay 1, delay 2, delay 3, delay 4, delay 5, ok. First I will set for 10 seconds, delay 1 for 10 seconds. If you want long bell, you can press it for 15 seconds or 20 seconds, ok. Programming mode of DC. And the third setting will be uh, day, one, day slot 1, ok, 50 time settings. Now we can set in this time slot we have s2 ts3 will be the different uh, timing slots 15 16 we have up to 50 time slots we have actually 48 49 50 and it goes to 1 now we can change the mode you can see whether hour minute am pm delay okay this is like that now we can go to set in the third option we have saturday that is slot 2 settings <coughs> go to set in the time slot we have 25 different time settings 18 19 we have 25 okay then it is go to yes one now press programming mode and in the uh, exam slot 3 we have 20 time settings once go to set we have time slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, up to we have 20 settings, if you change the minute, hour, am, pm, delay, okay. So, third option will be, day and slot uh, settings once we press the cursor go to set the day one monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday see for example uh, it is tuesday if you want to change the slot though we have a 50 25 exam slot and no bell I will set this for uh, 50 uh, set in slot 1 I will press set so now I am going to set one settings in the 50 time settings so now the time is 5.59 4 I will set it for 6 o'clock 6 1 I will set ok Uh, 
number v6 am pm am pm is all about in the pm the delay is giving delay 1 and set okay so these are all the uh, basic uh, things uh, to do the settings i am setting for 6 1 pm okay tuesday now the date is 7 9 2021 it is in the automatic mode so let's uh, check for another uh, 30 42 50 seconds let's wait and let the load is getting on so basically uh, this uh, programming mode coming with uh, 50 25 and 10 so totally we have in the advanced model so totally 95 settings uh, per day we can uh, go in the advanced model so that is why the, the basic difference between the uh, advanced uh, the basic and the advanced model okay. so these are the manuals if you want you can make use of the manual So now the time is 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 and it uh, well it's the ringing for 10 seconds. Well is ringing for 10 seconds. Okay. It will be easily showing. It is continuing from 10, 11, 12, 14. Okay. So this is why uh, this is how uh, the settings uh, can be done and the output load should be uh, it will be accordingly based on the time it will get run. So if you want uh, to fit in your school college or industries then you can make use of this advanced school bell timer. So if you want you can contact us 3 electronics and embedded solutions Thank you. Thanks for watching.